What's up YouTube, welcome to Fresh 2K Sports and today we're going to be doing a new build video. Sorry guys, I haven't posted in a while. Uh, I'm starting to do this new build thing for the future of this channel. I just want to see um, if I can really make it somewhere with the channel. This is the first of, I think, three videos today maybe. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for a lot more videos. So as you can see, we already got Nate Robinson point guard there's this point in period where he shot with his left hand I, but I'm just gonna put right hand um, I use number two so so what you wanna do is you wanna pick the pie chart that shows I think I think I like the, um, the finishing finishing one um next I think I'll go with also we're gonna go with the fast one because Nate Robinson was such a fast player um this one shows that it has the weakest strength it was tied for weakest strength and he wasn't the strongest player so I like the vertical on the 95 overall but um I don't think we can go with that one yeah, I like the 95, but we can't, so. The acceleration is there, so. I'm just gonna go with the first one. <clears throat> so, what you wanna do if you wanna. Um, obviously, at the end, when it says, who is he similar to, it's not gonna say Nate Robinson, because there's no possible way you can. I don't think. It's not inside the system. But, um. What you wanna do is go 95. I believe on all of these then I'm gonna go 95 these three oh no 95 on this 50 on this one 86 on this one um and then you wanna go the three point, I mean, the mid range, you want to give him 67 in range, which is maxed out. Three point shot, we want to um, max that out. Free throws, you want to max it out. And the post moves, um, we want to max that out to 84 because we want him to have more shooting badges. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Once he gets to 99, he'll have way more badges and way more. The shooting overall go way back up. Um, we want to give him a 70, let's say 8, yeah, and then max 86, and then we want to go with 83 overall for the playmaking. Then next we have um, the interior defense. I think we're gonna leave that. Um, actually. Oh, we'll give it that to 48. Let's see. Give perimeter defense to 50. Let's go 72 maxed out. I'm going to leave steel and wait for steel. Or no, we're going to go 60 for steel. Go 30. Well, 60 for steel and 30 for blocks. <clears throat> so you can you can either pick um, 60 for blocks and 30 for steel. It's just I prefer. I think that he would be more quicker, be able to steal the ball more and park and stuff like that. Um. So yeah. So next, um, I would say Nate Robinson. Actually, um, he is, I think, I mean, really does not matter, but, uh, I don't know, define, it doesn't really matter. For the height, we want to go 5'9", because that's how tall he is. As you can see, on the left. When you make him 5'9", his ball handling goes up by 9, which is ridiculous. 
but his dunking goes really down. So if you wanted to just make a dunking career, but you want to like say it was Nate Robinson, then I'd probably boost it up to like 5'11". But when you go 5'9", it goes a little down by 11. So <clears throat> it's really not a good sign. It makes it harder for his career. I don't know why 2K did that, but um, yeah, it makes it really harder. Because you see on the right, the speed goes up and everything. Um, but then all the things you need, physical attributes to, he no longer can do. Um, lateral quickness goes up on defense, so that's pretty good. Um, the steel goes up too, so if I picked block, it would have went down. So it's a good thing I picked steel instead of block. And then the midi went up too. But I like the ball handling, like the 95 plus. That's that's good. Um, so for the weight, we're gonna get Cam. He is currently 181. Um, so it doesn't do much. Let's take down the. A lot of quickness that just upgraded by two and take it down by three. So, yeah. Uh, for the wingspan, he does not have actually a really small wingspan. 74.9. Makes the steel again even more better. So, that's really nice. So, for our takeover, you know we're gonna make him a slasher, but a playmaker would be nice for someone who could run around the whole court, um, make a lot of people fall in parks, and I mean 95 speed as his max. That would be this is a really good build if you are like actually really talented at 2K. This is like a really good build. So we're gonna go slasher. Um, yeah. And let's see what compares to Spud Webb. Obviously, Spud Webb was 5'4 dunking, and um, yeah, Chris Paul, Kevin Walker. So, Spud Webb is really comparable to Nate Robinson. So, this just shows that I did do it right, if you're wondering. Um, and we're going to test this build actually to show you some of the badges that he should have, um, in my personal opinion. Um, you don't have to follow exactly what badges you. He uh, should have, but I think it's best if you do. <laughs> so, um, so this is what he ultimately looks like at 99, 95 speed. Look at that, 30 finishing badges and 20 playmaking badges. You can't go wrong with that. And 10 shooting badges for someone who's not known as a shooter, but he can he got himself a good shot. And then he has one defensive badge, which was really nice too, for someone with 51 strength. So. His strength doesn't even go into the 40, so that's a good thing. To be honest, for someone 5'9", it's actually really good that his strength is not going into the 40s. Okay, so for um, the badges, you want to give him Hall of Fame Acrobat, um, Hall of Fame Consistent Finisher, Hall of Fame Contact Finisher, uh, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. Give him Giant Slayer. He's gonna really honestly need it to be honest. Contact Fisher, he's gonna need it. Acrobat is gonna need it. I mean, this is just for you, consistent finishers for you. Um, I prefer to have it on my players. Um, literally, I cannot pronounce it. Finisher, um, he's gonna need that. Unless, if he doesn't have it, then he's probably gonna get blocked all the time. Um, Lob City Finisher, I would love to see him catch a lob and park. Um, Showtime. And, um, Put Black Boss. I'm gonna put that on silver. Actually, let's take down Lob City Finisher to gold. And Showtime to gold. Then give this oh, one more. Um, I'm gonna give him fancy footwork. So, proves ability to beat defenders with advanced lab. Yeah. The reason I wouldn't put that on Hall of Fame is because his stats are already there. So, for shooting, we have we have ten. Okay, so that's a lot for someone who's not even a shooter. That's why I said 
if you do that post you might not want to do upgrade the post fade and you're like oh I don't want to do that but like it's gonna benefit you at the end because you get to have so many badges for um, shooting so that's what makes this really good I love quick draw um, they don't it has range extender but I'm not gonna use range extender because he doesn't even have a good three point from the start so I don't think you're taking freaking longer threes. Um, but, um, yeah. Corner specialist, um, D fade. I mean, I already have like an 80 plus on his lesson there, so might as well have the D fade. Difficult shots, uh, when you, you're gonna be dribbling non stop with this player. So. Playmaking, we have 20, so that's even, that's a lot. We're going to give him gold ankle breaker. That will be crazy. Um, we're going to give him silver dwarf floor general. Um, we're going to give him handles for days. 2K20, showing that handles for days is really important. Quick first step, he's going to beat players off the bounce, to be honest. <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to stop him. Unpluckable needs to be on gold. I love using unpluckable. And tight handles needs to be on gold. I don't usually use tight handles. But um, on this player, yeah, he's gonna need it. He's not gonna need it, but it would be nice for him to have. <clears throat> um, and like, this doesn't really matter. I could give him polo stick. But for clams. But I think I'm gonna give him. Room texture? Yeah. Well, nah, actually, we want pickpocket. So, yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below. The next player you want to see, um, send me some motiv motivation, um, to make more videos in the comments, um, I'm only making this video to test it out to see if the future is good for me when it comes to YouTube. So.